Okay, we have Best Actor coming up. It's about to be awarded. Why are you trying to put How dare you? <laughs> Good morning, fam. It's a great day. Welcome back. It's another Sunday. Windy. It's windy outside, y'all. This really is the windy city. They don't <laughs> call it it for nothing. As with most Sundays, we're on our way to church. Yeah, we're gonna do some church real quick and then we'll be back on the vlog. Hey, fam, and we are back from church just like that. It was a great day. It was World Vision Sunday and Sweet Bear and I did you see that? This dog attacked me. Anyway, it was World Vision Sunday and Sweet Bear and I decided to sponsor a child. We've never sponsored a child before through World Vision, uh, but we decided to do it. And uh, today was really cool. For the first time ever, what World Vision did is instead of having like the pictures of all the kids that you can sponsor, we actually got our picture taken and our pictures are being flown to Africa. And the kids this week, they're gonna get to choose us like they're gonna get to choose which people they want to sponsor them which I think there's just a lot of dignity in that and I think it's really awesome uh, if you don't know about world vision I'll link them down but they're pretty awesome come here come here up anyway we are home anyway we are home from church now we grab some lunch afterwards at one of our favorite sandwich spots in Chicago and now we're home for the rest of the evening. But before we get into the sort of what the main portion of this vlog is likely gonna be, I wanted to let you all know about two things. <sighs> the first is this book, I'm Still Here by Austin Channing Brown. I first heard about this book because it's sold in our church resource center, but I actually found it at a Barnes and Noble in Vegas. The subtitle kind of says it all, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness. It is a book about race in the workplace, in the church, and in our lives. It is one of the most challenging books I have ever read. I am loving it. And so if you wanna read that is going to challenge you, especially if you are a white person in the world, uh, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm not totally done with it yet. I'm definitely gonna reach out to Austin Channing uh, once I'm done though, because I wanna thank her for it, because it's kicking my butt. Now for the second thing. Ugh. So earlier this week, this box came in the mail from a company called Faith Socks. You can kind of see what they do here. Uh, for every pair you buy, seven meals are provided to hungry children. But as you can see, they're pretty cool socks actually. They have like a design on them, right? But then on the bottom, they have scripture. These have like sneakers on them, and then, and then it says, Faith Walk, 2 Corinthians. Full disclosure, uh, one of the people from Faith Socks reached out to me on Instagram, and every now and then I'll get someone from sort of a Christian clothing company reaching out to me, asking if they can send me a shirt or whatever they sell. And I'm always very hesitant about it because I don't wanna ever push anything or talk about anything on this vlog or on my Instagram that I wouldn't actually use. And they're not paying me to talk about this. Uh, they were kind enough to send me these socks. I think really what I like about them the most is the fact that they are a Christian company that is making a difference in the world, but the clothes and the stuff that they make isn't like super cheap or super cheesy, which is difficult to find in the world. So yeah, thanks to Faith Socks. Thanks so much. I'm gonna put these on and go live my, go walk my faith. But anyway, the real point of this vlog is today is one of my top five favorite days of the year. That's right, it's Oscars night! And so the rest of this vlog will basically be about the Oscars, which doesn't start for another, red carpet doesn't start for four more hours. See you then. Oh yeah, people. It's several hours before the broadcast, but the red carpet has just started, or it's about to start in 53 seconds, which means the greatest night of the year has arrived. All right, sweet bear, walk us through some of our traditions. Oh, we picked our who we think is going to be best dressed. We watched the whole red carpet. Who did, who did you predict to be best dressed this year? Gaga and Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not, don't have any favorites. 
Usually we have people over, but I guess we're lazy this year. <laughs> and then we order pizza. We also cast Oscar ballots, which I just printed out. It's starting, it's starting. Ryan, hi Ryan. So anyway, we make our predictions here, see who gets the most right. But the red carpet is starting now. Probably the rest of this vlog is just gonna be a musical montage of reactions from us. I'm not listening. <laughs> Gaga for Gaga's dress. Way to go, Gaga. All right, it's official. The broadcast is officially starting. Queen is on the stage. I hope it's good. I hope it's a good night. And the Oscar goes to... Regina King! First award of the night, Best Supporting Actress, went as planned to Regina King. Full disclosure, we have not seen Beale Street. But I've heard amazing things. Very much looking forward to seeing it. The night is off to a predictable start. Okay, they're about to give away the best documentary feature award. I'm really pulling for Minding the Gap. It was my favorite movie of the year, but I don't think it's gonna win. And the Oscar goes to... Free Solo. I knew it. Good for this them. The Free Solo is so good. Oh, and he's there! Free Solo is so good. He doesn't use any gloves or anything? No. All right, team. So, Mahershala Ali just won Best Supporting Actor. It has been an utterly predictable yeah. telecast so far. I need a surprise. I need something that I wasn't expecting. In the shadow, shadow. Bradley and Gaga just performed Sweet Bear. Okay. okay, we're about to get Best Actress. Here we go. Olivia Colman. <laughs> but we got our surprise. Oh, look at how happy she, oh my gosh. Oh, her speech is gonna yeah. be bomb. <laughs> Ooh, ah, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. <sighs> so much. <laughs> This is not gonna happen again. Ruh -ruh. Best picture time. I'll be underwhelmed if it's Roma. I'll be disappointed if it's Green Book. I'll be upset if it's Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll be ecstatic if it's anything else. Agreed. And the Oscar goes to Green Book. Well, that is a surprise. Hey, it's not Bohemian Rhapsody. True. It's a better movie than Bohemian Rhapsody. But you are in not telling me that that movie is better than Stars. Okay, Sweet Bear, that's it. Overall thoughts on the Oscars? Um, meh. Yeah. Rough year, rough awards, circuit. So it's hard to explain for me the Green Book win, why it's so disappointing. The main problem that I think I have with that film is not really my problem to express or my problem to explain. So the main complaint is from Don Shirley's family, I think, that yes. they portrayed him inaccurately and that's why people are upset. Just from a pure movie and content standpoint, there, there are some race things going on in that film that I think are very problematic. I mean, the movie was good. It's not yeah. like... It just wasn't like the best picture of the year. No, I think, I think um, we will look back in five ten, seven years, and look at many of these winners and think, what were we doing? Because, like, last year, like, I hated Shape of Water, but, like, at least I could understand. Because it was year, a wonderfully crafted if film. If Roma would have won, I would have been, like, not my cup of tea, but, like, but I get okay. It. I get it. But Green Book, yeah, I just don't. But all I gotta say is, we don't deserve movies like A Star Is Born if we're not gonna give them Oscars. And hey how dare we? Hey yo. How dare we? Bradley, you deserve better. At the end of the night, what I'm taking away from it is Olivia Coleman is a treasure, and I can't wait for The Crown season three. <laughs> I have to watch season one and two. Is first. she in it? Yeah, she's she's taking oh. over the role. Anyway, I know this was like a 
basically an episode from the couch, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the Oscars, even if we didn't. I'm very happy for Olivia Colman, very happy for Mahershala Ali, very happy for Regina King. Black Panther won three, I think three awards, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's all we got for today. No more Oscars talk for a while, I promise you. I love you all. Keep being awesome.